For those of you who understand the phrase, only the highest levels first. Always. Without exception. And then regardless of any other directives you follow implicitly, because you understand the concept of eternity and beyond, uh, you get it. Despite your religion, your government, <coughs> your organization, or otherwise, you overlay with the root base code. At the right time, even you are wicked and do what's right. In the great spheres of all that is and was and shall be, in the Akashic records from infinity to infinity, <coughs> we all play our roles as the molecules in infinity. And for those of you who don't understand the concept, let me break it down more simplistic. Whatever intelligence you think you have on planet Earth, Notice the choice of words and forget where I was going. Stop. I want you to pay attention. Shut off the noise behind me, around me, in your head. And pay attention. All the codes you think you have. Layer it on the codes that I built that you know of and don't. I would be a first line notification. Doesn't matter what you've laid over it with Norton, your own governments, your own securities. Your own FDICs, your own whatever. You're using my part of the interface in any dimension or format. I'm a first light. So I already have the keystrokes. By, by estimations, because you'll never know for sure. Expect the one fact. How much, you won't know. Is he? The answer is yes. Putin's not the richest man on earth. Newsflash. Not anybody you know of. Except unless you've said me. See, in 1999, one of my six private entities alone at that point was worth $10 billion independent traders going to two to four trillion dollars after that. And everybody thought they collapsed that and it didn't go. Oh no, we knew you were going to fuck with that. And I had other entities in place that picked up where I left off. And if you look at all the fine print, we never released anything, even the event of bankruptcy or government or war or acts of anything. Despite whatever underdressed signatures you may have gotten anywhere after that. How do you think I could sustain all the fucking horseshit you people have put me through? And not want to just, you know, set it off earlier. Because I've known from the beginning what I'm here for. There's no irony in any of the coincidences about Kurt or his life, or even when you met him, or if you met him as Kurt or Edward or Joseph or whatever. If I appeared before you, there was a reason. It's not because the student was ready, it's because the teacher needed to appear and you were part of the integral whole. Whether you liked the role you played or not, it was on you. But you played the role because you played it the way you did. You already know my feelings on what's right and what's wrong. If you've studied me close enough, if not, you should go back and do homework because you know how I feel about repeating myself. When you just haven't been paying attention, you should reset. To any claims I've made publicly, privately, or otherwise to you or to others that you've absorbed in any way, shape, or form, they have been factually correct. I don't under preposterities even in humor. Unless it's such dark humor, it's to make a point. I don't exaggerate unless it's part of a script. I don't get into melodrama. I am not a victim. I have been victimized. That I'm standing strong and tall, despite that most people would have been dead multiple times over or would have been able to call you maybe from a hospital bed. It appears I would be in none of those. The amount of recorded hit and runs in the past few months and months are actually inaccurate. There are others where I just didn't even call it because I knew what the result would be. It was either not worth my time or I was too injured to do so at the time. 
Dr. Hill myself. Someone that was supposed to see me several days ago or something today and said, what took so long? And I said, well, when you have to rise again, like I do so many times from the dead, you know, sometimes you go to your own private tombs and do it in your own time. I'm here, you need me, let's do it. And he delivered to me one of the most comedic roles this dry man has ever delivered that I didn't even knew he had in him and blew me away. And just be, as I was saying, you know, gosh, I should shoot us sometime doing something just like this and submitted to Saturday Night Live. Sirens went off and he said, I hope it's not for you as I'm thinking, oh gosh, I hope it's not for me. Sirens are not always a good thing in my life. And then he went dashing outside to see what was going on. He came back and he was so flustered he forgot key things like giving me some intel that I needed and something he was trying to sell me but we weren't test driving the event when we had the distraction. I never got in my line of, I hope it's not for me, which I would have said anyway, um, intentionally, but he was already at the door. And because of the distraction he kept going back to, I could tell on his face that it was something much deeper than us at the moment. And I went outside to see a vet who was recklessly trying to abuse the system based on the points I observed. And I did reinforce what the officials were saying that he was abusing it and they were showing compassion and he really needed to stop abusing. He could wheel right around a corner to the emergency room that they're not going to bring an ambulance we're going to take him to, which they can under law and they have done many times and most hospitals, including federal hospitals, don't want them to be delivered there. So and they keep finding him all around town so obviously he's able to commute and what he was saying wasn't true. Bless the poor demented soul. In spite of that, I did let him know he was still on the abusing 911 and they could press charges if he continued it and he should wake up and, you know what, stop abusing the system and take his responsibility for his part. And if they're telling him he can get around town, then don't tell people you can't. Don't say you're not drinking when you told him you were and then you change your story. Maybe you need some meetings and they're not in a hospital. Maybe you need to start stepping a little more. Maybe you need to cut the dramatic bullshit of I'm a victim, please pay me, play my game. Um, obviously, if you have compassionate people who are letting you know you're over the line. Maybe the next thing is tough love. Maybe you need to break out in handcuffs. Maybe you need to go to court. Maybe you need to die on the street because that's your choice. Or maybe you need to stop being an ignorant person and wake up. Too many people buy fake, vile news like Donald Trump. You have no excuse for not waking up. Can't blame it on your government, can't blame it on your leaders, can't blame it on your religion, can't blame it on your circumstances. All you're doing is blaming. Unless you're taking solid action with your country, your people, your group, your organization to remove people like him from government worldwide, you're sitting by and tolerating the same thing just in a different format. I obviously am not tolerating. I'm speaking out against it. They made multiple attempts in my life. They begged me to shut the fuck up. They told me to shut up. They told me to get off the grid. They told me to get out of the country. They've told me a lot of things. Obviously, I don't give a shit what they tell me because I'm strong in my convictions and you don't move me unless I want to move. And I'll move when I'm goddamn good and ready to. But I am ready to tell you. And that's enough. And if you keep this up, all I have to do is unleash some codes that are already in. <laughs> or forget to recode something a certain way. Or you put me in, in some place at the wrong place at the wrong time, it could just... Well, more will be revealed. If you think I'm making up any of this, and you've seen other stuff that you think I'm insane over, how would an insane man be able to walk freely on the street doing what I do if I was that insane because they would have already taken care of the problem by now? Let's get honest. Wake up, sheeple. What are you doing to be part of the solution for eternity? And what are you contributing as jack shit nothing? What do you tell yourself or me? Look yourself in the eye someday before the end of time and more will be revealed. If not, you are jack shit out of luck. Good luck with jack shit day.